short to um, compose the music. I would bring my ipuheke and my ukulele. And this is one of the days I went to um, the North Shore. And um, I usually go cold swim at Hyena Beach, I mean at Ke'e Beach. And then on the way back, jump into cold pond. Enjoy over there, party in the water, you know, on the stone and on the water to toughen up my fingers. And then I would go have lunch or whatever and go eat at um, High Anna Beach Park. And one day um, I did that and a young little Hawaiian boy came up to me and said, um, what you doing, Uncle? I said, oh, I having lunch and, you know, I brought my ukulele just in case, I, you know, I write one song. So we were talking about his family, they were there camping. And um, in the conversation, um, we saw a turtle. In the third verse, there's a line that says, Ho ai lona ike kai. And I didn't want to say that we saw the turtle. So, um, ho ai lona is um, a word or term that we use for omens or signs um, that we see. Um, it can come in many different forms. Um, the honu or the turtle is very special in the Hawaiian culture. Um, so, I mentioned that. Um, but I'll sing the song for you so you get at least familiar with it, and then we'll go through the music. We're going to sing in G. to uh, state that um, this song is one of my, one of the first few songs I, I, I tried my hand in writing Hawaiian. And a lot of the phrases in, the, in this particular song are very common phrases that you would find in any other song. Um, I am not a native speaker. Um, I am presently attending, or actually the teacher comes to my house. Uh, we have a class of Hawaiian language at my house I've been taking three years. I've taken before, I flunked. Um, I, I don't know if I have a mental block or whatever it is. Um, but if I want to write in Hawaiian, I have no problem. It's just, you talk to me and I can understand it, but for me to talk back, it's like, eh? What? <laughs> you know? um, so this is one of my first attempts in writing Hawaiian language. So I tried to write a simple, um, if you had any knowledge of some Hawaiian words, you would be able to pick up the song and look at it and say, oh, saying something about the ocean, oh, about aloha, or something like that, yeah? So this is my first um, attempt. Okay, let's try that first verse.
kai no, a ke one ana panapa, which means the glittering sand. And I don't think um, many of uh, us would think about the sand glittering. Um, but if you went to the beach, or you, if you visited different beaches, they have different consistencies. Some of the sand, your feet soak, you know, just go right inside the sand. Some places you go, the sand is really it's hard, you know, um, it's easy to walk on. And then um, some beaches, if you look at the sand, the sand is dull. Yeah, well, this day when I was there, the sand was, the way the sun shined on the, the, the sand, um, the sand actually looked like it was glittering, you know. So that's why that phrase, ke one a napa napa, the gl glittering sand. Okay, third verse. He malu o kanyu. And by the way, this talks about a shade of a coconut tree. The tree is not there anymore. Okay, the coconut tree. Anyway, um, that's why you document in songs. Because it's part of preserving history. And in all of my songs, you'll see at the bottom, it tells you when I wrote it, what date, da 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 da, da you know, in the, the little story behind of it, yeah? So that little guy's boy's name, he's not a boy, a little boy now, you know, it was written in 80 something. You know, he's never heard the song, but he asked me when he left, Sam Pa the third told me, so what uncle, you go write me one song. And he left and I wrote the song. And um, the next time I saw him, was at his dad's funeral, with, which I think was two years ago. And I went up to him and I said, Sam, I don't know if you remember me, but I met you down at Hyena Beach Park, and we sat over there, and we saw the turtle and stuff like that. And when you left, you asked me, so what, you gonna write me one song? I wrote you one song, and he goes, he never remembered the incident <laughs> at that time. But it's preserved in Mele, yeah? So, I don't know if his mom made it. And is Auntie Darlene here? No. Oh, okay, that's all right. Third verse. Hey, Malu. So we say, Hi, and the beauty of Kauai, Uapihame ke aloha, Itahe e malie mai, E pili mai kaua, Hi, and the beauty of Kauai. Okay, here we go from the top. Okay, we just go through each verse one time, and then we're going to ask the hula dancer to come and dance. Oh. 